Mr. Jack! Rich. How are you doing today? It's snowing. The world is a wonderful place. Hold on, I don't, I don't know if I turned my phone off. So Jack, today we yeah. are talking about chicken cat dog. <laughs> what is chicken cat dog? From the makers of Ico, a game where you have to guide a girl through puzzles, and Shadow of the Colossus, a game where you have to fight giant beasts, comes The Last Guardian, a game where you have to guide a giant beast through puzzles and fight with some of the worst controls of this console generation. That's a bit harsh. Yep. Yep, it is. To put it as simple as possible, the game is to get Trico from one end of the area to the other. Yeah. And sometimes you need to guide him, sometimes you need to go around and open a gate, sometimes you need to just ride on him and he'll take care of the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's it. And and so like Trico sometimes knows where to go, and sometimes you have like commands. Like you can point him in a direction to go. Yeah. You can tell him to jump. You can tell him to come to you. The problem is he doesn't always listen. They, they, what happened was somebody. You know, our, our last two games they've mm. been really arty. They've been these art house masterpieces. Yep. And I've got an emotional concept where there's a little tiny boy and a great big dog, cat, animal thing. Mm -hmm. And they have a relationship because everyone loves pets. That's all I got. Sold, says Sony. <laughs> everyone loves pets. <laughs> and, and I think when they made this, they were so focused on making this wonderfully amazing. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, a beautiful animal that looks like an animal and moves like an animal and it, it breathes and it scratches and it does all these animal things. Mm -hmm. And they don't do anything that's a solid game with it. It's like, it's like, like gameplay wise, it's like you ever walking like a dog down the street mm -hmm. and there's like a lamppost and the dog walks on the other side of the lamppost for you and then, then and then it gets like caught, like, the leash is caught around the lamppost and you're trying to get this dog to come around the right side and the dog doesn't know what to do, just, just gonna wrap itself around more. And no dog, go around like this. And that's the game. So Somebody thought that would make a good game. Sorry, About four hours in is when you understand they went full Uncharted 4. No, they didn't. They, they really did. didn't. Uncharted 4. Yeah. Everything is a movie, mm -hmm. and anything that seems like gameplay is just kind of pretend. Mm -hmm. But there's like story beats that are happening. We meet the brother, we, the brother infiltrates the base, there's the shootout here, and then there's the escape from prison scene, and, and, and yeah. there's, these things happen, and these characters talk to each other, and plot twists happen, mm -hmm. all right? In, in Chicken Cat Dog, yeah. uh, nothing happens. You meet this pet! Then you need story beats. If it were like <laughs> Uncharted, there would be story beats. There would be <laughs> scenes that show your bond strengthening with the animal as time goes on. Oh, now we have a relationship. Yeah. No, you get, you get the first chunk where you meet the animal. Oh, they have a bond now. And then they just walk around for 10 hours. Then you get to the end and, oh, now emotions happen again. <laughs> so what you're telling me is that this is worse than Uncharted 4 because they couldn't even get a story in there. It's... Yeah. <laughs> well, my comparison to Uncharted 4 
was the platforming. Because so there's puzzle solving. You got to get Trico from one area to the other area. Sometimes there's a little hurdle that you need to take care of. Uh, you know, very uh, what is it, Mouse and the Lion? Yeah. Right. You get you ha you have to the small one needs to take care of the big one. Sometimes in order to take care of the things, there are these large platforming sections. It's running along a predetermined path that you cannot fall off of. There's no game involved there. You see, there's one path to take. And you can't really fall. Right. So reflexes aren't really like an issue with timing your jumps just right. right. You catch the ledge. There's nothing like that. Yep. You could, you could argue that it's a puzzle game. Sure. But if it's a puzzle game, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like a maze that has no forks. Exactly. There's one. There's one obvious solution. I gotta get to the thing up there. Okay, I guess I gotta walk along the obvious path to get to the thing. All right, I got to the thing. I didn't have to do any thinking to solve that. As I see that thing up there that I have to shove, and now oh, there's the path up there. I took it. I shoved the thing. Yeah. There's no thinking. The, the story begins with us waking up next to this giant beast. Yeah. And he's scary. And then we feed him. And now he's our friend. Immediately. <laughs> you meet the dog. You have a relationship. And then nothing really happens. There's there's like a line of dialogue. Instead of like something happening to strengthen your bond with Rico, it just says, our bond's increased now to the point where he follows more of my commands. Nothing motivates that. He just, just dialogue, just expi And now we trust each other more. The laziest way to get an idea across is voice over narration. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, who is he? I think it's on. You know, you are on it too. I guess you will need it. You get it so easy. You know, you can get it all really. You get it enough. I'll tell you cool. This game has a lot of problems. It's got a really impressive chicken cat dog. Sure. <laughs> Sure. It's really, it's a really impressive creature. Sure, absolutely. I guess like my what my point is is besides my my frustration, my point besides the amazing dog, I think that everything this game attempts to do they fail at. Yeah. Including some of the most basic shit, which is the camera controls. I was so goddamn frustrated. You know, it's it's general third person yeah. twin stick. One stick moves the camera, one stick moves your character. But the camera had a mind of its own. It kept wanting to look at either at the dog or at the mountain. Or it, it had its own agenda. And so I'd want to scan the area around me to see where the path was that I needed to go. And the camera would say, no, you go look over here. I say, I want to look up there. My, my problem, my problem with the camera, yeah. it's not your problem, I have a different problem with the camera. You're going through a lot of corridors mm -hmm. that are just perfectly sized for uh, Trico. Mm -hmm. And Trico loves to walk up right next to you. Right. And there are times when you can't see anything because the screen is just feathers. And you can't pan around because everything is dog. Mm -hmm. Everything is chicken cat dog mm -hmm. and you can't see what you're doing. And you're basically blind, mm -hmm. stuck in this little room. Here, here, you said something earlier that I don't know if I'm fully on board with. You said it has the worst controls of this console generation? Out of all games I have played this console generation, I cannot think of a game whose controls are worse. The only real issue I had, and it's not even a major issue, mm -hmm. It's just kind of weird that uh, jump is triangle. It's like all the way at the top. Usually jump is like really comfortable and easy to get at. It's usually X. Right. Because you just jump it a lot. If it's like something's a platformer and this it's, it's at the top of the controller. And that's, that's weird. Mm -hmm. I get it. But I'm used to jumping X. Other than that, it's I didn't have a problem. It's not just that. So, you know, one, the camera is all is all jankified, and I believe, and that's part of the controls. You okay. need to know what you're looking at, and the camera kept fighting with me. That's all broken. 
then the basic control, like you, you're supposed to be able to control Trico. Mm -hmm. You just tell him the general direction you want him to go, you want him to look. And so, so like you have these platforming puzzles where you're riding on Trico and he has to jump from stone to stone. And sometimes he needs a little direction. Yeah. But he doesn't always listen to you. And so you can say, Trico, go over there. That's the next platform I want you to jump on. And he'll turn around and jump back down to where you were. <laughs> that's Check. bad controls. That's the game. No, you didn't communicate <laughs> with an animal. Oh, guess what? That would be really frustrating in real life. <laughs> <laughs> when you are doing things correctly on the controller, and they don't happen on screen, that is bad controls. Yeah. The worst controls of this console generation. All right, all I right. stand by it. Okay. I want to like give a little shout out to like world building and art direction. There were there was a little bit of the art direction that I liked. I you you had mentioned earlier the whole like Trico in the little tunnels thing, yeah. and I actually kind of liked some of that. The idea that he didn't belong in this world. It was built for man-sized yeah. people, and he was kind of crawling around. That was cute. <laughs> what the problem is is the general world, and so this might get into spoiler e territories. Yeah. But you feed him these glowing barrels. Yeah. We discover that the, the chicken cat dogs kidnap people, barf them into a thing, and then the thing shoots out the barrel that they eat. Yes. But, th but then why are those barrels strewn about the city? And what does that, ha like why, what is the purpose of the chicken cat dogs? And if they run the city, why aren't the caverns chicken cat dog sizes? And why are the things fighting them if they're the ones using the barf vomit machine? And what does that have to do with the glowy spinny thing? Jack, yeah. what's important mm -hmm. is that it's an artistic experience. These aren't unanswered questions. These are mysteries for you to ponder. It's, it's, a, it's a quick and easy way to get rid of a plot hole, Jack. If they're eating the barrels, why are the barrels all over the place? And who's locking up the barrels? I didn't see anybody locking up the barrels. It's, it's, oh, I know, it's this mysterious world. Who's locking up the beast? Who's in control? It's a mystery. It's <laughs> it can go fuck itself. <laughs> is what it can do, Rich. It's, it's, here's the thing, it's, it's not even a story, really. It's just an, it's an emotional concept. Kid giant dog motion. Well, good. We have to <laughs> Who cares? This game is a mess. This game is a gosh darn mess. Rich. Jack. Wanna... What? Do you recommend chicken cat dog? No. No, it's a mess. It's a horrible mess. Everything about this game is frustrating. Now, people see me as being a bitter, horrible asshole. Yeah. But you were looking forward to this. I really was. And I'm the positive one. I like things. I, I like things and stuff all the time. You, you hate it more than I do. I have uh, uh, nothing but contempt for this game. I... Do not recommend it. Okay, yeah, well, I'm good. We can still be friends. Then. But I am very impressed with the animal they made. Trico, as a creature, mm -hmm. as an animation, as a behavior, very, very impressive. Technically impressive, he looks like an animal. 
He but moves like an animal. Like, can you even recommend going through the game just so you can experience Trico? Here's, I don't recommend it. Right. I don't recommend it, but there are probably, me personally, I don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. There are probably dog lovers out there who really love their fucking pets that would, that would do this. I know everybody out there who plays games that isn't me yeah. has just a hard on, an absolute hard on for anything that has any kind of hint of art to validate the fact that they're gamers. And they'll love it. You're gonna love it. It's not for me. I like the chicken cat dog. I'm not even against a game being arty. I'm really not. I know people probably think I hate anything that even resembles art right. or storytelling. Mm -hmm. That's not true. I just think when you're talking about a video game, you need to have the game there that the art and story is built around. If it's not, <laughs> You're wasting our fucking time. Make a movie, draw, draw a picture, make a painting, make some music. But you see, that's the doubly frustrating part about this is we know that this team can have a mixture of art and gameplay because they did it already with Shadow of the Colossus. It's because they didn't start with the gameplay. They started with the idea, I bought it, I, got, I, got, I have a dog, I have a dog. Oh, I love this dog. Oh, there's so much, mo I've got this great emotional concept with a small boy and a dog. <laughs> and the problem is, that was all they had. Right. And they spent six years making this fucking dog and nobody made an interesting game to go with the dog. Yeah, no, no, we'll, 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 we'll hash out these puzzles later. Don't we just put some temporary platforms for you to jump on. We're gonna figure out these puzzles. Oh shit, our deadline's here. Hey, shit. It took them six years to make, Jack. Yeah. I guess they just needed another six. You think it, it would, if they took 12 years to make, it would be better?